Hi, welcome back. So, as in the last episode, I showed you that you can delete those items that are generate generated, but it's not really a good thing. So, let's modify it to make this not happen up again. So, let's make a private boolean. Let's call this modifiable. And here, let's make a pu public void set modifiable, which is going to be not what it says because set not modifiable. Okay. So this way modifiable is going to be false and here if modifiable is not false so it's it's true then we can set the value And I'm going to make a public void set init value, which is going to be just to the same as the value, but doesn't question it's it is modifiable or not and invalidate. Uh, this is not the best practice, but. But now I am going to do this. And also if sh, uh, if grid x and y is equals zero, not equals zero, then Shudoku x and y dot set not modifiable let's like take a look again so set value if the modifiable is true and yeah the initial initial value is going to be a true so if it's true then we can change the value let's test it okay let's why is not is this not working okay it's it's working the other way Wait a second. So if it's not zero, then it's numbers. So it's going to be not modifiable. And if it's not modifiable, it's going to be false. Yeah. This is going to work. I'm just okay so we selected the four we cannot delete but this we can just set the numbers okay I think we finished almost finished with our game I just need to make um, a bunch of functions to check if the grid is fully filled and it's not contain any error and show a message that you solved the Shudaku but this is going to be in the next episode thank you for watching please subscribe hit the like button comment 
if you don't understand something or whatever you want. Thank you for watching. Bye.